we've been talking on, on this subject, how to receive what God has provided. Let's review the five steps that we outlined. We're going to cover two more in the steps of the faith of Abraham, in, in the steps that are involved in receiving what God has provided. So to quickly uh, review the uh, number one, to believe God. Secondly, he believed God even when it was hopeless. Number three, we do not let circumstances dictate our faith. Number four, we refuse to waver. Number five, which we spoke of last week, we become stronger in faith by giving glory to God, or by praising and thanking God. Today, I want us to uncover the last two, two more steps in Abraham's journey of faith. And then we are going to practice these seven steps of faith. Number six, what do we see? The sixth step of faith, the sixth element of faith, or aspect of faith that Abraham journeyed in as he received what God had already uh, provided for him. Verse 21, Romans chapter 4, verse 21. It says here, and I'm just jumping to the last verse, Romans 4 and verse 21. And being fully convinced that what he, God had promised, he was also able to perform. So Abraham came into this place of being fully convinced or I would put it like this, he stayed in this place of being fully convinced. And so that's part of the journey we make, that we come to this place where we stay fully convinced that God, what God has promised, he will also perform. Now, in order to do that, we must stay single-minded. You and I must stay single-minded on the promise of God. God has said it. I am staying single-minded on what He has spoken to me. I'm not taking anything else. I'm not looking for anything else but the promise of God for my life. I'm believing God for that and I'm staying settled with that. Sometimes, some of the things we are believing to receive from God and saying, God, this is your provision. And I want to see it happen. It may not happen, may not happen instantly. It may not happen as quickly as we want. But through faith and patience, we inherit the promise. We receive what God has already provisioned for our lives. So that's the sixth step that you and I stand through time. Stay fully persuaded. Stay fully convinced. Don't become double-minded because that man will not receive anything from the Lord. The seventh step that we need to add to this list is simply this, that Abraham acted in line with his faith. That means he lived out what he believed. So while we have enumerated all these other things, we also add this step that he acted in line with his faith. What seems impossible, as good as dead, something so powerful comes forth. And that's what God can do in your life and in my life. You know, people can write us off as good as dead. People can say impossible. People can say nothing good will happen. But from one who was as good as dead came forth a nation because he, by faith, journeyed into what God said was his. So faith was not just something he said, I have in my heart. He did have faith in his heart. Faith was not something that he just said, I speak. He did speak. Faith was not just something that changed the way he thought. Yes, he now he changed, did change his way of thinking. He saw the promise of God fulfilled. But faith was also something he did. He acted. And there are many things you can look in the life of Abraham, which were just really expressions of his faith. He stepped out, he acted his faith. But in his, in his acting, faith was at work. And through what he did, through his actions, faith was brought to a place of completeness or a place where it could produce in his life. Faith with the corresponding actions will produce. Faith with actions aligned to that 
causes faith to go into work and brings faith to a place of maturity, completeness, where it can produce in our lives. So faith is not a passive thing. Faith is an active thing. Faith with action will produce.